Friday, July the second. The big story today comes from Washington, and yes, I'm looking. Uh, yesterday, we yeah. talked about this. And I'm looking for Kunupadon Patama, who said from Washington the other day that he was expecting a big resolution from the U.S. Congress against the Abyssin government. But mm -hmm. as it turned out, the resolution that was voted in the House of Representatives was in fact in favor of Abyssin. Yes, it's, it's staggering in favor, in favor of the Abyssin mm -hmm. government. It's 411 to 4 yes. in mm -hmm. favor. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to Thaksin and Abyssin? Well, uh, as far as American politics go, this may not uh, amount too much. Um, it may not make the news uh, at all in America. Right. Mm -hmm. But whether it's uh, binding or non-binding, or mm -hmm. whether it's symbolic or non-symbolic, mm -hmm. is, is huge yeah. uh, as far as Thailand is concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, first of all, it's Kun, Kun Nopadon himself mm -hmm. has pointed the Thai media toward this uh, resolution, yeah, yeah. making everyone really anxious about what mm -hmm. the American uh, parliament is going to say about mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. And another significant thing is the, the last line of the resolution. Which says? which say that everyone in Thailand should do the best they can to support the roadmap of uh -huh. the government. I see. The five-point roadmap or opposite. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, this is significant because um, everyone knows that Kun Thaksin and uh, before him at uh, the Red Shirt Movement mm -hmm. did not support the roadmap. Mm -hmm. Actually, well, we, we will remember the meeting in the container. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then, right. Yeah. We remember when they came out and say, um, mm -hmm. they, they seemingly supported the roadmap, but it, in the end, uh, they, they, they made some conditions right. and, mm -hmm. and everything just collapsed. And obviously, it said that Thaksin did not approve of the roadmap at all. Right. Uh, and uh, Kun Thaksin himself uh, had been saying whether but by himself or through his uh, um, uh, lobbyists, mm -hmm. that he, mm -hmm. he, he would rather have a peace talk instead of uh, mm -hmm. implementation of a peace roadmap. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where did uh, uh, Nopadon go wrong? Because he was drawing attention of the Thai media to the upcoming resolution from the U.S. Congress, <laughs> and we all expected that it would be against a pisit. Yes, uh, we still we still really don't know. Um, he we, we knew that he was uh, uh, planning to meet some senators, mm -hmm. and um, that, that that's all you know. And, and and today after the resolution came out, uh, he just gone underground. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody have uh, been able to contact Wouldn't him. Answer the phone. Uh, as of now, well, no. we've been trying to call him. To ask him, you know, what happened, what actually happened, mm -hmm. and I think he has lost some credibility with that. Uh huh. Maybe. Well, he, he could have kept quiet. quiet. Mm -hmm. He could have kept quiet. Yes. And the resolution coming out from Washington could have been just another story, because in fact there had been earlier one or two resolutions to that effect from the Senate and from some mm -hmm. uh, congressional committees mm -hmm. in support or in support of peaceful reconciliation. Right. If, if, if no fuss has been made about yeah. this, uh, it would have gone uh, out as a quite a common resolution right. by the U.S. Uh, Parliament. Right. But, uh, mm -hmm. that, that doesn't mean much. Mm -hmm. um, Do you think Abhisit knew this in advance? Uh, probably, because uh, this is uh, this resolution, uh, we, we, we knew that the draft was mm -hmm. made uh, a few days earlier, mm -hmm. which mean that uh, it it was made before Kun Napadon came in to mm -hmm. Washington and mm -hmm. start lobbying for Kun Taksin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, Kun Napadon will have to improve his uh, channels of intelligence from Washington. Yes, because he he saw it coming. He saw this resolution coming. Mm -hmm. He should have made a trip to somewhere else, Montenegro, or somewhere else to have a holiday instead of. Getting stuck yeah, in Washington. So to speak, he, he, he had made a below the fall story <laughs> yes. uh, become a lead story for tomorrow. That's right. So for Abisit, uh, this is sort of a God sent uh, windfall. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, the other question is will the government continue to think about hiring a lobbyist in Washington? Well, if, if you look um, at the resolution, it it's it quite clear that the Americans uh, consider Thailand. Um, in the context of long-term um, relationship, mm -hmm. uh, the resolution really talk about the fact that Thailand has been a long-term ally of the uh, Washington government, and talk about the uh, richness of the Thai cultures, 
and you know, a, a, a social and economic impact of the political conflict. Mm -hmm. So this reflects um, uh, the American concern, the real concern mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the U.S. Uh, government, uh, mm -hmm. the, the U.S. political uh, system mm -hmm. for the Thai uh, conflict. So uh, first round in the international battle for publicity, Thaksin has lost. Uh, the first round goes to uh, the opposite government. And the information war continues.